Hey hey, it's CK, and today I'm diving into the reason why I switched from Sony cameras to Lumix cameras. And it's for good reason. The ecosystem, the color science, and open gate, there's a lot we gotta go through, so let's talk about it. Now don't get me wrong, this wasn't an easy decision. With a lot of options like the A7C2, the FX30, and the A7 IV, I had such a hard time deciding on which to choose. Why would I dump the current ecosystem that I'm in and jump into another one? It just sounds ridiculous. But I came up with four reasons of why I switched and four reasons of why you may not switch. Let's talk about it. To start off, my four reasons for switching are, my gosh, it's about to be 4th of July, so a lot of people are just probably doing a lot of fireworks, so. Keep it short, my main four reasons are color science, the L-Mount Alliance, IBIS, and open gate. Honestly, for the color science, this is just all personal preference. Whenever I was looking at these videos, I was just preferring the Lumix cameras overall, just straight out the gate, like Vlog to Vexo 09. I was just enjoying how the greens looked and how like skin color, darker skin color like mine, just looks natural. And also just the ability to use real-time LUTs baked into the camera if I needed a quick turnaround for like, let's say client or for myself and I didn't wanna edit the colors in a video and just film it, edit it, and then go. <laughs> I'm gonna add some links down below to let you look into these color sciences by yourself and make the decision for yourself. Second is L-Mount Alliance. Now, this is again, I guess, kind of personal preference, but I like it when a lot of companies come together to come to agreement to work together. Sony doesn't do that. Sony has a lot of cameras, and yeah, they have a lot of third-party companies making lenses for their cameras, but you can't really switch out between them. If I decided one day to move to Blackmagic Design or DJI, I would be able to without issue. And really, that's what it's all about. I've always been a huge fan of open source. I love Android, I love Linux. Those are just things that are just open and working together in a community. And I love when people come together to work towards greater good instead of keeping closed ecosystems. I'm looking at you, Apple. <laughs> Third is IBIS, which is in-body image stabilization. That's essentially, if I'm holding the camera, how much does it shake and can you see that shake? Recently, the S5 II and S5 II X, a couple months ago, got a firmware update. And while the new firmware update is more for like tripod-like shots, just holding it, as a handheld shooter, I really enjoy the ability to be able to have a gimbal-like movement with my hands and not have to use a tripod or a monopod or a gimbal. My fourth and most important reason of why I switched to Lumix was simply because of open gate. In today's world, we have a lot of aspect ratios that we have to work for. There's 16 by nine, then there's nine by 16 for both social media and YouTube. And there's just so many different aspect ratios that we have to keep in mind when we're filming. Now let's talk about why you might not want to switch. Evil, yes. Now, keep it short, four reasons are rolling shutter, the lens selection, 4K 60 FPS gets cropped, and there's no 4K 120 FPS. If you're often shooting fast moving objects, while it does have shutter angle, the rolling shutter could still be a deal breaker for you. The effect is quite noticeable and it doesn't really bother me and the way that I shoot, but it could really bother you if that's a huge deal breaker for how you film. Next, while I said the L-Mount Alliance is there, it's still new. The lens selection for Sony E-mounts is quite wide and large. The L-Mount Alliance is still new. So the options are somewhat limited. To kind of combat that, there are a lot of EF to L-Mount and PL to L-Mount. And I've seen a lot of people on YouTube using these adapters to be able to use EF and PL, still being able to use autofocus. But 4K 60 FPS cropped, I can deal with that honestly. And I've even heard some people do 1080p 60 FPS without the crop and it still looks great. For the fourth one, it's kind of the same with the 4K 60 FPS, but there is no 4K 120. And that's kind of a deal breaker for some people who really love slow motion shots, who really like getting the action and getting it slowed down. It's just not my shots. And if you really want an actual number four, we can, I guess, say the autofocus. Sony still has better autofocus, but with the recent firmware update to Lumix, it's a lot better and it does a really great job. Granted, it's, it's not gonna be Sony level, but it's still really great at this point. It's really up to you if these are deal breakers and I'm not gonna be able to tell you what you need in your films. Just keep those in mind when doing more research. If you don't know what these deal breakers are, then I wouldn't recommend upgrading yet. I would 
learn more about how cameras work first and then eventually upgrade once you understand it a bit more. So there you have it. Those are my four reasons for switching to the S5 II and four reasons why it might not be a perfect fit for you. At the end of the day, it's really all about what suits your needs and the camera that fits your needs is not going to fit for the same person. Instead of being influenced to buy a camera, I would just recommend looking into each and every camera and what you do for filming and what you need for filming to be able to create the videos that you want. If you have any questions of why I switched and how I switched and the process of switching, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll answer them directly. And I'm gonna be making a lot more Linux videos. I wanna be able to understand this camera and I think the best way to understand the camera is to try to teach you guys on how this camera works. And as I teach you, we'll learn together and we'll be able to create this environment of understanding our cameras, creating better stories and making films that we love and are proud of. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you wanna see more Lumix videos or videos about hobbies. It's what I do here. This was CK, now go away. Shoot. Go. Have fun.